Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Tilted Table. We're very excited to have you all joining us this evening because we are, for the second week in a row, featuring a brand new, unreleased Kickstarter game that is live right now. We're going to talk about that more in a bit, but if you all want to check out the campaign because you're already excited, exclamation point KS in chat. First of all, some quick introductions for those who are new to the stream. My name is Jordan, a.k.a. Axel Hellfire. Wait, I totally AKA updated AKA I forgot to update right. the stream. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna leave the stream in shame uh, because I, I it didn't save. And then uh, my colleagues are going to introduce themselves. Are you gonna I'm, I am right, sleuthing that Jordan messed it up. Um, I totally updated it, damn it. I'm, uh, I am Sam, a.k.a. DJ Fluffkins. Clearly I did not. Over I'm Sam, aka DJ. Fo well, he's on. He's over there. The mic's not picking him up. He's shouting. <laughs> Who are you, hey, Kratow? I'm guilty, and I did not mess up the commands. So, I, I I think you from now on you should introduce yourself as guilty, aka not innocent. <laughs> <laughs> I think this calls for a exclamation point blame. Okay. Can we get a blame in chat? And our, and our special guest. And our special guest. Hi, I'm Jason. Rob Bennett. <laughs> awesome. And Jason is the developer of this game? Designer? Everything? Yeah. Cool. Everything. Don't, don't, don't tell us too much about it, because Sam is going to sleuth out what it is slash isn't. Cool. Um, okay. But yeah, let's do that, and then we'll get right back to Jason. All right. Cool beans. Cool, okay. Uh, over 350 cards. All right. Um, so it's a card game. There's an arena. There are gladiators. Uh -huh. Okay. Cool. Gladiator combat for two to four players. Um, you know, I think I think what I'm like, supposed to do is we get a bunch of cards, then we fold them into pointy objects, Ooh. and then we like poke each other with the pointy objects. Uh, and the person who has the most, like, who is still alive at the end wins. Because that's how re arena combat works, right? Like, you, I, only one I person is alive right. at the end. Yeah. All right. So you have to Jordan's already out. <laughs> All right. Um, it's just you and me. Cool. All right. Uh, uh, <laughs> why don't you tell us what the game actually is? <laughs> Jason, how close was he? So close. It's unbelievable. <laughs> He really is. Origami for homework. The folding, that was the, the key. Fo the folding was the key. Ah, yes, the origami. All right, well, <laughs> as an overview, could you tell us what your game? Yes. Or so Pinion Arena uh, is like. It, it, it's in the name. Very uh, cool. Arena is uh, gladiator combat, and each player is sort of a manager of a team of gladiators. And you enter the arena, and you get out with all the other players and uh, try to come out on top. Nice. And you can do that a number of ways, by eliminating your opponent's characters, their gladiators, or by becoming so popular with the crowd that you cause a riot, and the crowd rushes the field and tears all of your opponents apart. That's amazing. Also, I was here the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Okay. Very cool. So, how do we how do we get started with this game? Yeah. So far, we have set up a little bit. We've got play mats. We've got um, these little glass uh, markers, and yes, we've got mm. decks of cards. Sam, do you want to hold up your play mat so that everyone can see how cool they look before we start putting stuff on it? Wow. Well, okay. They're both different, but. Uh, yeah, huh. these are sweet, sweet play mats. Ah. And if I remember correctly, play mats are an add-on in the Kickstarter, right? They are available as an add-on, or at the um, higher elite level, that you get four of them. Very nice. Cool. Ooh. Ooh. All four. Yeah. All right. And they're all different. There's actually, uh, I think, like ten different designs. Wow, nice. that's awesome. Yeah. Cool. All right, so we have we have our play mats. Uh, Sam and Guilty will be using play mats. I will be using His not a play mat to like show you all that we can play the game with or without play mats. 
But obviously, we yeah. love play mats, and you should get play mats because they're awesome. Um, Jordan, yeah. I think you're cheating. Wow! Uh, no. Wow! I, I that see, was all Sam. I see this. Sam did that one on two. You were supposed to start on zero, zero, and eleven. That was hundred percent Sam's fault. Uh, oh, Jason, why are we at zero, zero, and eleven? <laughs> So you're at zero, zero, eleven because you are at, um, no, you don't have any victory points yet. Okay. And you don't have any cheer yet. The crowd is not yet excited. Uh, and then the eleven is how many resources you're going to start with. Mm -hmm. You start with ten every, at the beginning of every wave, and plus the number of the wave that you'll be going into. So since you're entering the first wave, you start with ten plus one, so you start with eleven resources. Okay. Cool. And is there a rhyme or reason to how we split up these decks? Yes. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the double-sided cards, all of the gladiators, and you're going to set them on the, off to the side. You'll take all of the other cards and shuffle them, and then that's going to form your deck, and you're just going to place that into... Um, there should be a place on there for your deck. I think it's on the lower left side of the play mats. Okay. Uh, strategy deck? That's the one. Okay. All right, so shuffle everything that's not a double-sided gladiator. Correct. Got, Got it. it. We'll do that now. Excellent. Watching Jordan set his deck. Hacks. Hacks. Sa says the guy who was never allowed to shuffle Can we get a rig? Can we wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hey, it's not my fault if I win. It is if you set the deck. <laughs> mm. I hear a Old lot of rivalries come out. A lot of excuses from Jordan. I mean, to be fair, a lot of it, a lot of it is actually built out of the fact that we're not allowed to play on the same team. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's true. All right, we have shuffled some decks. It is. Okay. It's a very serious business. Okay, got my deck in the strategy deck area. Cool. So then, when where do these uh, gladiators go? Okay, so you'll want to sort through the gladiators, and um, the first one you'll pull out is the reinforcement, and you're going to put that into your gladiator stack, which is on the lower right-hand side. Got sure. it. Because reinforcements never start in play. They're always there to reinforce your team. Uh, then you're going to take the other gladiators, and there should be two cards for each gladiator, uh, double-sided cards. So there's a, a level one and two card, and a level three and four card. You'll take all of the level three and four cards and also put them into the gladiator area, the gladiator stack, so that when you level them up from level two to level three, you'll swap their cards to get their higher level card out. I'm so you confused. Know, so your, le your level one, is, where's the level on the card? I is think that it's the on the top. upper left hand corner. Right upper left hand corner, okay. So mine say three, four, five, six. That's the VP. That's the upper right corner, and that is the victory points. I see. Oh. Okay, so there's... Where is it? Upper left-hand corner, where it's underneath the name, it says level one. Okay. And two. And then level two and three, or level, yeah, level one and two, level three and four. Okay, okay so I got it now, yep. Saying take all the three and fours and put them in another pile? I'm missing They go into the one. stack, the gladiator stack with the reinforcement. You should have seven. So am I stacking one, two, three, four together, or no? Maybe no. I want a Sam. You're taking Sam, all one. Do you have out, a Lord Magnus? And you'll be putting them. They're going to start on the table in play. Mm. This is like go fish. Do you have a Lord Magnus? <laughs> no. Go fish. I think maybe you just have an extra card. Oh, actually, uh, Jordan, in the box. Yeah. In those extra cards, the extra gladiators, the level three and four for Lord Magnus should be in there. Ah. Got it. Thank you. Um, I want to see you go fish. Why are you not going to fish? Jordan's We're going fishing, fishing right fish. now. All right. Cool. Okay, so I have four level one yeah, or two cards that I have separate right now. Yes. So right. they're, you're going to put them the face up on the table with the level zero. one side up. Oh. Face I up on table. Uh, table or play map? There you go. So okay, you and then the one and zero action match, field? We are not using it. Or it doesn't really matter yet. Okay. You can put them in either field because you're going to get to organize them after Wait, the, just before we, the game starts. The cool, same. cool, cool. 
Okay. Then, then you're fine. Is there a difference between my level one and zero uh, Magnus in, one the, in the, the deck? The, I don't you should see be using the one that has one a two. the attack value, uh, which is the one. orange value in the bottom right. So I, I believe it should uh, this be one a is one, different. not a two. Yeah. Okay. So keep the one with the one. Yep. Cool. Thanks. So we should have six gladiators plus our reinforcement gladiator? Six. I have four. Yeah, it I've depends got on which gladiators eight. you have. You can bring up to four. Um, it, it depends on the point value. You might have the deck with three gladiators. Which Can gladiators I do you have? Uh, I ha Yes, I have Soul Cleaver, Vengeance, and the Conqueror. Oh, excellent. Yeah, so you have the one with three. They're, um, it's three bigger guys, and okay. the other two have four... You know, it's the same amount of points to build your gladiator team, but you can take fewer if you want to you have them be bigger. Maybe. Jordan's cheating already. Axe. Yeah, basically. Or you two are cheating because you have more gladiators. No, less is better. I'm with Streamlabs. Stop letting Jordan win. <laughs> All right. Okay, so now that you have your level one gladiators on the board, if you look at the upper um, Sorry, right should they corner, be in the action fields? She said it doesn't matter right now. Okay. We have we have to do some setup. Okay. Uh, can you say that again? So the upper right hand corner is the victory points. That's mm -hmm. how many points they're worth to your opponent or whoever takes them out. Okay. And the total, when you count all of your level one gladiators, should has to be ten points exactly. Ooh, mine is not ten points exactly. There probably is a reason for that. And Minus I'm guessing. Seven. One of your guys probably has the legend keyword. Yes. Okay. So what, as part of your tech, 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 your team building, um, you can take what's called a patron discount uh, by reducing your victory point total for for the purpose of building your team um, by the patron discount. Which, if you look at that card yep. that has the legend keyword, there should be a patron discount right on the now. bottom of it. Yep, there is that patron there, discount right there. Bottom. You see that says patron discount one? Mm -hmm. That means you can reduce his point value by up to one if you want. You don't have to use it, but it would allow you to actually take a better gladiator who's a legend and not have him consume as many points on your team. Second, Jordan. Okay. I got extra so points. How dare you? What, what? Extra points is good. Extra points is good. Cool. <laughs> All okay. right. So now that you have your gladiators out and all of the other car the other higher level gladiators and reinforcement are in the stack, um, what you're going to do is you're going to randomly determine who's going to go first. Trazi. And that's totally up to you. Yeah. Eh. Uh, uh, oh, no. <laughs> Nailed it. Ah! <laughs> no, <laughs> mine doesn't work. Ah! No. Damn it. The iPhone is superior. Damn you, Android update. What? Right. Did it lose my well, phone? I think, yeah, it yeah. lost. One, guilty. two, three. Yeah, apparently they have. That was me. Ah. They haven't updated Schwazi for All right. new Android. It's okay. broken now. I am going first. Okay, so what you'll do is all of you are going to get to draw to your maximum hand size, which is normally seven. But just check the text on all your gladiators to see if any of them have any extra text of uh, drawing or max hand size or anything like that. Uh -huh. During setup, max hand size plus two. Oh. During setup, your opponents have minus one max hand size. Nice. There you go. I'm net up one. <laughs> Guilty's net negative one. Ah. Yep. Okay, so whatever your total works out to be, so I think Guilty's at six, Jordan, you're at seven, and Sammy, you're at eight? Yep. Okay, so draw that many cards from your deck. Cool. Do you feel that I've cleaved your soul with my soul cleaver? I, I feel the cleaving. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're going to draw, each of you are also going to draw two extra cards. Ooh. Now, every time you get to refill your hand and draw cards, you're always going to draw two extra. Okay. You're going to look through your hand and choose any two cards that you don't want right now, and you put them on the bottom of your deck in the order you want. Okay. okay. Now, I'm going to recommend anything that, uh, if you want to throw one of the cards onto the um, zoomy thing, I can kind of walk you through what you're looking at. Yes. So no. what we're really focused on right now is the upper left-hand corner. Mm -hmm. So the, the little um, white kind of globe on the upper left corner, 
with a number, that's yep. the cost in resources to play the card. Okay. Okay. The symbols next to it, those are discipline symbols, and those are the symbols that are required to be on your team from gladiators only to play those cards. So that card has a requirement of mystic and summoner, that's the yellowish one and the purplish one, at level three each, I, do, I believe. Is that right? Uh, looks like three and one. Three and one. Okay. So you won't be able to play that until probably the third wave. So that's a great candidate for a card to probably bury on the bottom of your desk because you won't need it right now. So anything that has a, a two or a three or even a four is a great card to probably put down on the bottom unless you really know you need it. But since you're learning, you wouldn't know that. So I would just say higher level cards are good candidates to put it on the bottom. Okay. So high, high, high cost basically is um, high requirements. The cost is they're all they should all be affordable. Um, since you're starting with eleven, but but yeah, you won't be able to play the cards. That have, that have a high, high requirement. requirement. Okay. Cool. All right. All right. Next, Next, you're, you're going, going to set, set your field, field for um, to determine like how you want your field to be set up. So you have an action field in the front and a support field in the back. And actually, since Sam is going first, he's going to set this up last. Um, all right. Actually, Actually, no, no Sam, you're, you're going to do this first. first. Uh, uh, okay. Because you're going to be taking the first turn. So nice. you get to just break up your team however you want. They can all start in the front. They can all start in the back, front and back. And the reason why you would put certain people in certain places is, um, I'll get into the mechanics of it, but just know that when someone on your team is attacked, you can always intercept attacks against people in the same field. So they have to be in the same field as each other to protect each other. Or um, a gladiator in the front can also sort of, it's not really an intercept, it's called protecting. They can protect any target in the back, um, but there's pluses and minuses to doing that. So it's usually a good idea if you have a, 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 lower, a lower life total gladiator to probably start them off in the back. Um, Which one's life? I should, talk, I should talk about the life totals and all of the icons on the, on the gladiator. So, oh, life is the... Okay, uh, I see it. The icons along the bottom give you their stats, and the basic stats are the red is the life. That's how many wounds they take before they're defeated. The middle one is showing up as invisible because it's, it's the pink. same color as yeah. the pink <laughs> key card. But that one's a purple color, and that's rage. Um, and we'll, we can talk about rage later. And then the yellow number is attack. So how much damage they deal when they attack. So okay. having a guy with at least eight or nine or ten life, um, then you could probably safely put them in the front, but you might have someone starting with a six. Wow. They might be someone you'd want to protect a little bit. Maybe. But they want to be super aggressive. And, and that's up to you. I've, got, I've got this one that has may intercept characters. Uh, ah. So she's special. Fields. She can intercept wherever she is. They can be in different fields. That's just her special ability. All right. So I guess I. Can they only attack from the action field? Correct. But they can move between fields. Well, I'll get to that. But yes. All right. So I'm going to put my. Be in the action field to attack. I'm going to put my gate weaver and my arc zip pool. Thingy. Auxilipole? Auxilipole in the action field. And I'm going to put my Penumbra and Avatar of Kisterbark in the back. What's up, Esquire? Welcome to the stream. Going two and two. Nice. Okay, and uh, we're just going to go clockwise from here. So, uh, Guilty, you can set up yours. Sweet. I put... Jordan, you can set yours up. I put Grandstander and Carnage in the action field, and action Lord field. Magnus and Kos Coast Bargain in the support field. Excellent. Just give me so, a couple of just a little of side note on the flavor. The um, characters that are demons, they each have different keywords for what kind of character they are. If they're human, if they're demon. The demons all have their demon name as their quote-unquote quote, quote, stage name because they take power from their names. That's why their names are weird. Mm -hmm. So, interesting. Of why they have odd names. Um, I also have a, I guess I have a question. Like, 
This card says during setup, uh, after drawing, take a summoning minion from your deck and add it to your hand. I guess I'd do that yes. right now. You can do that Dang. right now. Yeah. yeah. Suck at uh, people who don't have that card. So you're searching your deck for a summoning minion. Yeah. All right. There are three types of cards in your deck. There are minions, there are quick hits, which are like instant type one shots, and there are pumps, which are cards that play on other cards. So you would be getting a minion, which is like, it's a character like a gladiator, but it's not as exciting as a gladiator, so the crowd doesn't care as much about that. Okay. All right. Um, all of my gladiators are really beefy. So yes. I, I think I'm just gonna start with all three of them in the uh, the front row, the action field. Rigged. Dang. Uh, Rigged. Yeah, I've got my Soul Cleaver with 12, the Conqueror with 10, and Vengeance, my demon, also has 10. Which is why I only she, get three. She is a demon, but she has taken a uh, regular stage name because she's rejecting her demonic roots. Yeah, Daruna Deer. She's, she's, she's out, out for vengeance. vengeance. That's is the stage vengeance. name the smaller one or the bigger one? I assume the it's the bigger one. one and the small one is real name. Yeah, it's the big one. Oh. It's interesting because my yeah. demon is Devourer of Souls. <laughs> Maybe that's like their title. That's sort of like they're also known as. Oh. It's like. But because the demons are sort of flipped it around backwards. Ah, I see. So it's. Name. They don't it's, have a real name, so they. That's sort right. of their nickname. So it's Arxilipol, the Devourer of Souls. Yeah, that's what I thought. Makes sense. Yeah. Cool. All right. Okay. okay. So, so now, now you're all set. set. Now, this, this game is not really played in turns. Um, it, there are overarching waves. Think of it, it is sort of a sporting event. So the game is broken up in waves, and you guys are going to keep playing in the first wave until everyone consecutively passes. So you can go as much as you want, uh, or you can decide to pass. But just know that if you pass and then everyone else passes, that's going to end the wave. So there's you know choices as to whether or not you want to pass or not, just knowing that that's a risk. But okay. while, you're, while you have the momentum, and uh, you're going to be starting with the momentum, Sam, so uh, you get to play actions. And those actions are either going to be positive actions or negative actions. And the cards in your hand all have a... Um, a little symbol in the upper right hand corner. And that symbol is gonna be positive, negative, or there's some responses and there's a question mark, which I can explain. But the, um, the positive ones have a plus, the negative ones have a minus. The responses you can play sort of any time that it's appropriate. And then there's the question marks, which I'll explain a little bit later. Um, does that make sense? So you have those positives and negatives? Okay. Yep. Now, in addition to playing the cards out of your hand, you can perform actions with your gladiators, with the characters on the, in the field, and there's certain things you can do. So attacking, for example, from the action field is a positive action. So you can set, or to use a patented term, tap, uh, rotate the card 90 degrees. Um, you can uh, do that to attack, and you still maintain the momentum, so you get to do something else. And if you wanted to move a character up from the support field to the action field, that's also a positive action. Um, so you can move someone up, and then you can attack, and then you can attack somebody else. Um, and you can just keep doing positive actions until you take a negative action. As soon as you take a negative action, that's going to pass the momentum to the next player, uh, the next player to your left or clockwise. So does that make sense? So right. So. So the sh right now I can take positive actions. You yes. can take as many positive actions as you I want. want. As you want, as you're able to do. There will be things a little bit later in the game as the game progresses that might interfere with that, but for now, you kind of have the freedom to do what you want um, as far as actions are concerned. Now, if you want to think about positive versus negative, it is a spectator sport, so generally speaking, things that are... Um, exciting, things that interest the crowd, or if you want to think of it like a camera. The camera's always going to point to the action. As long as you're doing something exciting, the cameras are on you, and you have the momentum. But as soon as you do something negative or uninteresting, or less interesting, uh, the camera's going to pass to the next player. So if you want to retreat someone from the action field to the support field, because 
you want to get them out of danger, that's actually a negative action. It's because it's not engaging, it's not aggressive. People didn't come to see that. So they're going to switch the camera to another view. Um, so that's another way to look at the positive and negative aspect is, are you keeping it interesting for the crowd? As long as you're doing something that they want to see, the cameras are going to stay on you. But as soon as you do something that's like, eh, not that interesting, they're going to pass it to somebody else, and then they're going to get the momentum to do it. Interesting. Cool. Um, OK, so I don't know how this works, but I've got only two cards with positive symbols. Okay. Uh, and I've got this one right here, this nameless hero. I know it's hard to see because, you know, it's pink. Uh, and we didn't think about this. Um, okay, so, so let's just talk about what it would take to what it would take to play this card. Cool. It has a cost of three in the upper left corner. Okay. So you need to pay three resources. Got so it. just reduce yourself down from All eleven to eight resources. Cool. And it has you have to have a summoner minion. Uh, sorry, a summoner gladiator at level one or lower, and then somebody at level zero or lower. So you have to have at least two gladiators with summoner, basically. Cool, I have that. And you have, I think, at least three, I think. All, all four of mine have, uh, or three Actually, of them have one, and then one of them has zero. So you've paid for it, and you have the requirements met to play it, so now you're gonna place it in your support field. All minions enter to play into the support field. Cool. And that's a positive action, so you can do something else. Or you can pass, you can always pass as your action if you want. Okay. Um. And so, if you do a negative action, is does that just mean it immediately becomes the next person's turn to play? Correct. Correct. They, they get, get the, the momentum. momentum. Yep. yep. Uh, I guess I'll pass. Momentum. Well, okay. Can you? Oh, can I attack? attack? Sure. Why not? Yeah. Where's oh, yeah, where, I'm attacking. where's no, our just, action just, list? Just realize if you attack, they are set after, after that, and they won't unset again until, until the next. Breather uh, until like the entire wave is over. But that's uh, fine. That's what you're there to do. You're there to fight. Okay. And you can only attack things in other people's action fields. You can attack anywhere. You can also attack the support field. You can attack the support as well. It Dang. doesn't change what their options are as to what they can do to respond. Okay. So maybe it'd be helpful for you to help me understand how this set behavior works uh, for for this. Devourer okay, of so souls. You want him to attack, right? Yeah. So who do you want him to attack? I mean, definitely go. Definitely Gilfie. Jordan. <laughs> 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 All right, bring and it out. Jordan, which, which Jordan's which things are scary. You want him to which character? Yeah. yeah. You actually got? attack an individual, not a not a player. None of them. She's so got literally. a she's got a thirteen, a ten, a seven, and an eight. Or eight and seven in terms of health. What is their does their attack matter? That's a good question. Does the attack of the defending gladiator matter? No, no it, it does, does not. not. All right. Uh, there are abilities on certain characters, which will become available later. Uh, yeah, but right now, there's no no one is in play who can deal damage back when attacked. All right. Uh, I guess I. Which one of Guilty's looks worse or more? useful in the back row. What? Uh, I mean, yeah, all of them. Clearly, clearly the dude with the like double code. Oh, no, I said in the back row. row. In the back oh, in the back row. row. Wow, uh, setting me up to die. Oh, I mean, there, there's Lord Magnus of the like giant spear thing and knighthood. Shiny humanness. And then there is like demon death blade all right. person. All right, human, death, human death. of Spearness. So, why don't I do this? I'm gonna I'm gonna take a few hypothetical examples of how you would attack, so that you can have more information on what you would choose to do. Cool. So let's say that Arxilical is going to attack Carnage. Okay. And Carnage is in her action field. So yes. If that were the case, Guilty would then have to uh, have choices on what she would do to respond. The first thing you can do when you're attacked is take the attack. Okay, um, the attacker is set, they deal their attack damage to the defender, and that ends the attack and it's over. Okay, so that's choice number one. Choice number two, anyone, any other gladiator in the same field can set to intercept the attack. 
they become the defender and they take the damage instead. But that does also set the thing. Okay. Now, why would you want to do that other than just to protect them? Um, you know, you're still taking the damage. There's, the reason is the crowd. Okay. People paid to see gladiator fight. And this is what they're here for. So anytime a gladiator attacks, the crowd is jumping to their feet and they're getting excited. So when Arzilla Pool sets to attack, there's a cheer that's going to be generated from that attack. Ooh. If Guilty takes the attack on Carnage, then Sam, you're gonna gain a cheer. Nice. But the crowd is on their feet, they see Arzilla Pool rushing across the field, and suddenly, um, I think it's a grandstander, will jump in the way and intercept, he's actually gonna steal the cheer, and Guilty would get the cheer instead of you. Aha, so, I get the cheer. There's a reason why you want to attack, is you <laughs> steal cheer from your opponent, and you can earn it just for blocking. All right, well there's one cheer in the chat right now for oh. you to fight over. Thank you, Acerbic Slight. All right. So, I will tell you also about cheer really quick, because you gotta know what it's for. Um, it is, the primary alternate victory condition. If you can reach 15 from cheer, at any point in the game, you immediately win. That triggers the crowd riot, where they rush the field and tear all of your opponents apart. So nice. earning and saving cheer, not easy to do, but very, very achievable. And certainly with a character like Grandstander, who can generate extra cheer when he attacks, um, becomes a little more achievable with him as well. Uh, so cheer can be used in two ways. Uh, the first is, well, three ways, really. The, the first is the alternate victory condition. The okay. second is the player with the most cheer at any point in the game is considered to be the crowd favorite. And there's some, uh, there's some cards that have a little thumbs up. And they just basically make some powers work a little better. They might unlock some extra abilities because you're the crowd favorite. Uh, but the most important use of cheer is actually that you can cash it in and, like, think of a, a professional wrestler where they will do something in the ring and then they'll turn to the crowd and throw their arms in the air to get their fans to roar. That's what you can do. You can always spend a cheer anytime any of your opponents are taking a positive action to get the crowd to roar and it converts it into a negative action. So if Sam is attacking you and you steal that cheer, you can immediately spend that cheer to make that positive action that's the attack into a negative so not only did you steal the cheer, but you spent it, and you immediately ended his momentum, and you took it from him. Ooh. Whoa. So it's a well. way to sort of mix it up. So cheer can be very valuable, where somebody might think they're going to be able to put together that perfect combo, and you can always save that cheer and spend it to mess it up. Ooh. OK. Any, any questions about that? Yeah. What are my options if he attacks someone in my support field? Aha. So you have the same options you had before, where let's say he goes after Lord Magnus. You can take the attack, Not he'll get the cheer, Lord Magnus. Lord Magnus will take the damage. Okay, I think is he attacking for two? Yep. Is that his attack? Yep. Okay, so Lord Magnus would take two, and he would get the cheer, and that would be it. Or you can uh, intercept with, who's the other one back there? Kospark Deed. Oh, Kospark Deed, or whatever, yeah. Um, he can intercept, and again, you would steal the cheer, and but then Kostbargis would take the damage, okay? Or you can always protect somebody who's being attacked in a support field with a gladiator in the action field. It's similar to intercepting because they become the target and they take the damage, but it doesn't cause them to set, so they can do it multiple times, and it also doesn't steal the cheer, so he would still get the cheer. So that's why putting the bigger, beefier guys in the front can be useful because they can actually block multiple attacks without setting and they can still be available to do things. Nice. And if you think about that from a, from a crowd perspective, uh, if, if somebody on one end of the field is going after someone on the other end, it's not like that last second jumping in the way. They see that there's someone in the middle, so it's not gonna steal the cheer away because they can see that it's gonna happen. Got it. Cool. All okay. right. So attacking. Are you Go still attacking Lord Magnus? Yep. What do? Many options. I don't get to steal his chair if Kospar gets 
Uh, I think do. with cost, you I do, did. but if it's with one of these yes. guys, I don't. Correct. All right, I'm going to set close bargain in order to steal your chair and <gasps> defend Lord Magnus the shiny. Cool. And so you'll need to put two damage, 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 damage on your demon. How do I do is that? Is that what the dice is for? Just to keep track of those. Okay. There you go. The bam. I like it. What is uh, the rage value on Cos Vargas? Seven. Three. Oh, mine. Sorry. Three. Okay, so he's one away from raging. Just we can talk about it when it actually happens. But if you no, have a wound on a equal to or greater than their rage value, they're enraged. And when that do gives they them extra heal? Levels. If ever. Do my does he heal at the end of this round? No. You'll have, have to play cards, cards to heal them, or you'll okay. have to level them up, which gives them a little bit of healing. But okay. wounds are permanent otherwise. Okay. Okay. So, Sam, you set your gladiator. You attacked, guilty, blocked it, and took the damage. And took the cheer. And took the cheer. Boo. Uh, but it is still Sam's momentum, correct? Yep, correct. It is? Because yeah. you did a positive action and guilty you saving her precious chair. You can keep attacking chair. if you want. Or you can pass. All right, let's go, Magnus. <gasps> He's going after Magnus, Magnus again. again. Oh, snap. I don't know what I'm doing. Is that a one damage? It's a one damage. One damage coming at Lord Magnus. Do, 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 Lord do, Magnus do. will take it. <gasps> nice. One cheer. Does Lord Magnus have to set to take the damage? No. Aha. Perfect. Perfect. All right. I'm passing. The cloud demands blood. <laughs> blood has been spilled, and now it is time for Team Guilty to strike back. <laughs> okay. Um, so to play something out of my hand, I have to have the requisite disciplines. Yes, disciplines represented yes, on my field. Well. Now you you have something that the others don't, which is that Lord Magnus is actually a level two psionic at level one. What? He's the only character in the game currently who starts at level two in any discipline. What? He's really, really good at mental abilities. All right, very cool. Well, then I guess I'm gonna play Mind Over Body. I don't. I haven't read it yet, but it looks cool. Um, it Beautiful says card. Quick very Hit good. Focus. Play. Pay one uh, health from my Psionic Gladiator, and draw three cards. X equals yep. two if or one. What's the thumbs up mean? That is if you're the crowd favorite. Okay. Am I since I have one chair right now? No, we're no, tied. Sam also has one chair. Okay. Yeah. You have to have more than everyone else. That's fine. That's so close. I pay two resources for this. Yes. And one life from I think Lord Magnus. Yep. He's That's okay. Right now, right? He's got it. Yep. Yep, yep. Okay. But then I draw three cards. Yes. Dang. Very cool. Okay. Do I keep my hand between rounds? Or yes. do we, okay. You'll have an opportunity to get rid of cards if you don't want them, but you'll be able to keep whatever you want that's in your hand. What is the purpose of a discipline that's got zero? Uh, there are certain cards that have discipline requirements of zero, so okay. it would meet that requirement. All the requirements on the cards, you have to have it at the level it requires or less. So having it at zero will just fit the ones that need it at zero. Okay. Um... If I put a reactionary, if I play a reaction, 
Does it stay with the card I play it with until the no, conditions are met? No, well, it depends. What kind of card okay. is it? It's Coalition Rally. Ah, okay. Can you so read that? that? One, it, the text will tell you, the game text of the card will tell you when it's appropriate to play it. Okay, so I can play this out of turn. Yes. Okay, can I have that back? There you go. Thank you. Ooh, this is cute. What is a pumped character? Any, char any character with a pump on them. So the, the three card types are quick hits, which are the one shots, there's minions, which are helper characters, and there's pumps, which are cards that play on other cards. Yeah, so it'll be a card in our hand that you then put on a, on a character. Oh, I see it. Yeah. And I those stay, at least for a while. Sometimes they increase their attributes. Um, sometimes they give them other abilities. Some of them are things like weapons and armor. Okay. Can I... Can I play a, car, a pump on a set character? Yes, absolutely. Okay. I'm going to do that. I'm going to play Dripping Leak. Haha. Uh -huh. Which says Who after you it on? I'm gonna play you it, put on, it on, coast. on one of your opponent's characters. Oh, really? Oh. After pumped character sets, they take one damage, See. one direct damage, unless their controller discards the top three of their deck. Put Which it on Jordan's bad a boss. Deck pumper. I think a, it's a deck pumper. This one. What? That one. I thought you started off with extra cards. You have a pumper. I have a minimizer for other people. An extra card? That doesn't... What does that have to do with this? This is taking cards off of your deck. If you ever... Oh, steal your, your deck, deck is ever fully thing. depleted, you actually oh. lose the game. You don't have any more resources. Oh. See, so oh. I'm behind. Guilty is ahead. Do our resources uh, <laughs> come back? Yeah. You'll get new resources in the breather. Which is in between okay. the waves. Okay. Interesting. You'll also get to um, more. I'm gonna play Dripping Leak on Arza What's His Face because sure. I don't. On one of the things in the back that I'm not gonna set. No. No. no on, on no, the one that attacked me. I already set. It's yeah. Okay. So. For now. But he'll be set again oh. eventually. Oh. Yeah. Maybe you okay, want to go on Jordan's on. character. Oh, I just want to read your cards. Gosh, dang it. All right. <laughs> I want to go get popcorn. Popcorn! Yeah. All right, so now Guilty is set. Avatar. Guilty, put Nombra. it on the Avatar. That's oh. a good move. <laughs> put it on the Avatar. Pro During sat. setup, Pro after strats. drawing, take a minion. Oh, yeah. Can we see okay. that while we're here? Yep. All right, so this one is... During setup, after drawing, take a minion from your deck and add it to your hand. And this is... And it's only got eight health. Right. Well, all of his are low, actually, but yeah. yeah. All okay. right, sounds good. Great. They take one direct damage unless their controller discards the top three cards of their deck. Wow. Okay, so that's only step one. All right, and that was Ready? a positive? That was a positive. She still got momentum, chat. I got momentum. Then, the character you control only. Oh, heck. Um. All right, all right, all right. Oh shit. All right. Yep, dropping cards. It's all right. Everything's fine. What about the question mark, guys? Ah, so the question mark is. A negative action unless you meet the requirements to make it positive. Uh, so the requirements would be in the game text, and it'll say. Okay. All right. Sometimes it's what you play it on. Sometimes it's a you know situation in the game. Okay. So that that uh, leads me to ask a quick question. What is a spectral character? Each of the gladiators have different keywords. Some are humans, some are aliens, some are demons. Got it. Spectral is one of those types. Okay. Okay. Um, and then... Oh, that's fine. 
Okay, so then I'm going to attack someone. Dun dun dun! <laughs> I'm gonna attack. Let's go. What's up, Jason um, Red? Yo, yo. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> That's Jason. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. He's roaring with the attack. Grandstander is gonna attack the Conqueror. Now, read Why? the Grandstander's ability. If your total cheer is five or less, this card generates one additional cheer while attacking. Wow. Because he's a show off. And he likes to show off, which the crowd kind of likes. But just know that if his attack is intercepted, that extra cheer gets stolen as well. Oh, oh. oh that's good to know. Oh. Wow, okay. Well, that's Still want to do that? Yeah, screw you. <laughs> okay. For one? Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, on the Conqueror. Yep. I'll take it. You can have the cheer. Okay. Wow. That should put you to three cheer. That does put me at three cheer. Giving people cheer, okay. Yep. And then... You're now the crowd favorite, by the way. Ooh. Huh? You're now the You're crowd now favorite. The crowd favorite. <laughs> Which means what again? Oh, you might have cards. I can get some stuff for cheaper, I think, when I'm crowd favorite. Are there any like base mechanics that apply to everyone for crowd favor, or is it just like stuff that's on cards? It's just stuff on cards. Okay. Okay. And then. I think the only base mechanic would be if you're the crowd favorite, no one else could use their crowd favorite ability. Right. That makes sense. <laughs> Okay. And then I'm also going to play... Um, I'm going to pay two and play Festering Stink, which Ooh, is a negative, card. but it says attacks by something. I, it's attacks by right. and against pumped character cannot be intercepted. So I'm going to put so, that as well on Sam's pumped character. Thanks. You're welcome. Ooh, I like it. Okay. So it, it's, it's got a positive and a negative. If that character attacks, no one can intercept it. But also, if anyone attacks that character, no one can intercept it. Because no one wants to get close. They smell too bad. Okay. So an intercepted is when it's another character in the same field? Correct. Another gladiator. Another yes. gladiator. Okay. Yeah. The uh, minions can't intercept unless they, uh, the text says they can. Got it. Which is okay. Only... Was that a negative action? That was a negative action, so it is. Momentum turns. lost. All right, that's okay. My my turn's going to be short. Okay. Um, I have two sword symbol thingies. I don't know what they're called, but. They are warrior. called warrior. warrior. I have two warrior symbols, so I'm going to spend three resources for a negative action called Stealth Attack. And Stealth Attack allow, says up to X target, oh wait, that I can't, that's worthless. <laughs> Never mind. I missed a very key word on that card. I'm gonna do something else then. It, it can only target non-gladiators. I didn't see that part. No, 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 no. Sam's got gladiators. a... Uh... It can only target non-warrior gladiators. Oh! Also, Sam's got a minion. Do you have any warrior gladiators, Sam? No. Nope. I think uh, Penumbra is. Oh, yeah, yeah. He does have one. But you can target the other one. So where does it say warrior? warrior? Oh, yeah, okay. So mine have the red symbol on them. I assume that's it. So you, all of yours are warriors. Yep. Okay. Um, no, I'm still gonna do something different. That, okay. Damn it, that means I, I did Axe. I did Guilty's turn wrong as well then. Oh well. Um, I definitely should have intercepted that cheer, but <laughs> that's okay. All right, uh, what else can I do? We are... Nothing, you can do nothing. Right. 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and... Submit to my rule. Attack something. And the thing that we're going to attack is... Carnage. What? No, why would you attack Carnage? We're going to attack Carnage why would with you attack Soul Carnage? Cleaver, who has two attack. All right, fine. Um, is this, is setting Carnage to defend the same as setting Carnage to attack? Does it generate my two uh, resources? No, you, you, if you are being attacked, you can't set yourself in response. Okay. You'd have to set another gladiator in the same field to intercept for them. Right. And that's why I attacked Carnage and not Grandstander. Right. All right. Fine. Well, you can't attack Grandstander, can you? Because Grandstander's already set. I, I yeah, assume you can. can. Yeah. You can kick you him can all the way down? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think an arena works. He's not down. He's just too busy showing off for the crowd. Exactly. <laughs> Fine. Carnage uh, will take it. You sound Wait, so sad. Hold on. Can Carnage retreat to the support field? That's, That's a negative action. action. So you'd have, have to have, have the momentum. momentum. And, and if, if you, you retreat, retreat while you're unset, set, it actually sets, sets you as well. Because okay. that's, that's really demoralizing. demoralizing. But okay. does it not take the damage? Well, it, it, you would have, have to have the momentum, momentum to retreat, so you can't do it in response to being attacked. OK. All right. Cool. Well, bam. Thank you. I'm just too closer to raging. You're yeah. playing into my plans. Ah. Mistakes well, were made. You rage? We'll Jordan, find out. Everyone dies. I gave myself a cheer now that you reminded me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so that was a positive action. Um, now, if I'm correct, Sam cannot attack anymore because all of his unset gladiators are in the support field. Yes, but he can advance a, an unset gladiator as a positive action. Got it. Okay. So That's good to know. Attack. But if he advances them as a positive action, the other two players could spend a cheer, either one of them to make a negative, and then he'd be stuck in the action right. field unset but can't attack yet. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Um, okay. We're going to go ahead and we're going to attack with Vengeance, which has two attack, against Sam's Penumbra. Ooh. Um. Cool. <laughs> Would you like to uh, intercept? Oh, you can't. What happens if I intercept with this nameless hero? You can't, you can't intercept that with that minions that. Wait, unless they say they can. I don't think. Does that? Well, I thought that blocked him. From I thought the pump that you put on it stopped attacks against it from being intercepted. Yes. Correct. Okay. So it can intercept other things. Yes. yes. In this case. So but if he, he wants does, to, he could. He'll have to deal with the festering sting. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So that that's I, I'm making Sam choose whether. You mean the dripping leak? Both. Well, well yeah, the, the dripping, yeah, leak, sorry, the dripping yeah. leak. The fester sting doesn't do anyway. Right? Correct. So so why can't I intercept with this nameless hero? Because it's not a gladiator. Yeah. All right. Uh, I guess I will take it. Two damage. Cool. Well done on those pumps. That was excellent. You'll, oh my God. You'll, have, you'll have to, to let, let me know, know if, if someone, someone becomes, becomes enraged. enraged. We will do that as soon as it happens. All right. Now I'm going to figure out what I actually can do with these cards. And I think the answer is that, oh, I can play this. Okay. Uh, for one, two, three, I'm going to put a gelatinous minion Ooh. that is probably not going to show up while on the green screen. <laughs> but it actually, it actually looks pretty great like that, too. It's like see-through. Uh, called the Bloaters. And it has one health and one attack and one D, whatever that is. That is defensive, defensive damage. damage. <sighs> so it... 
someone attacks someone with defensive damage, that damage gets dealt back to the attacker. Hmm. Even if they die? Correct. Nice. Good job, bloaters. They basically the explode all explode. over you. <laughs> I love it. That's gross. And that's a negative action, so I lose momentum. Everyone's sad that the bloaters are in play. They wanted more carnage. Everyone wants more carnage. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Sam. Um, oh, and I got another cheer from that attack. Sweet. From attacking Sam? Yeah, from the second attack. Uh, that puts me at two cheer. You're still the leader, don't worry. <laughs> um, I could have gone for three, but then I'd be all tapped out. It's true. So I'm going to pay two. Uh, actually, I'm going to move Penumbra to the attack. Or to the... Okay. I actually attack, actually poke. Ooh. You guys, you guys want any of that? Any response? <laughs> to, like, spend a cheer to make you not be able to attack? To make him a negative. Right. He, it would basically end yeah, his momentum. Negative. Nah, I like being the cheerleader. Yeah. Okay. I'll uh, let it happen. I'm gonna move the nameless hero there too. <gasps> now that totally makes a difference. Now go ahead. Okay. Um. He's moving up on the attack. Moving up. What is the nameless hero's ability again? Plus one attack when I have five or more cheer. Ooh. Um. And you're at one. Okay. So I can attack guilties. Thingamajigger? Any of them. Any of them. Uh, the, well, what, what's the one in the top right? Carnage? Yeah, what are, what are the stats? Uh, 10, 6, and 2. And it has 2 damage. 10, 6, and 2. So it's not quite rage. Carnage is game tech, I'd say. When this card sets to attack, uh, comma... Gain two resources? Two resources. What? No, you, spend, you can spend, you can spend, spend two, two resources. resources. And then opponents may not roar in response. Oh. So basically, if you spend two resources when he attacks, they can't make it negative. They can't spend cheer to get the crowd to roar. Wow, that's cool. Wait, I don't get it. Okay, so uh, I don't think I understand. Okay, you know that. how you know how you can spend a cheer to make a positive action negative? That's roaring. So when Guilty attacks with Carnage, she can spend two resources to make it so that we cannot do that. So her positive attack action cannot be turned into a negative be if she pays two resources to activate that ability. Does that include if you intercept? Yes. yes. Okay. Does that mean you can intercept, you just won't get the cheer from it? No, you, you can still get the cheer. cheer. You just can't, can't spend cheer, cheer to make the crowd roar to make the action negative. Oh yeah. So okay. No so no matter what happens, you'll get to do something else. After Got it. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, I'm gonna use my nameless hero to hit the the dude. Carnage. Yeah. How could you now? That's a minion, and the crowd did not pay money to see a minion fight. So it'll do the damage, but it's not going to generate cheer. Okay. Ooh. Minions don't generate cheer because nobody paid money to see them fight. Cool. Okay. But if a gladiator hits a minion, that's still exciting, and they'll still cheer for that. But it's always the gladiators who make the cheer. Chat, who, who showed up to see the bloaters fight? Come on, let's be honest. Oh, come on. Um... <laughs> How many are you attacking me with? One. A big whopping uno. Carnage will take it. Okay. Then I will spend two resources <gasps> to play Portaled Heist. Ooh. Which is a quick hit utility. Um, destroy a pump with at cost of X. You may take a copy of the pump from your deck into your hand. So do I give her back this pump? Yeah, I should just put it in your discard pile. And I can tell you right now, you don't have that in your deck, so you don't have to go look for it. Can I shuffle my deck? You can if you want. Nice. Um, does that mean that the stink comes off too? Because it nope. had to be on it a pumped one. character? It's whatever, which one he wanted to target. But the stink... No, 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 the stink didn't have to be on pumped characters. Are you sure? I 
Okay, it says against pumped character, which I assume is the character. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like this one that says after pumped yeah. character sets. So that's just saying the character that the card is on. Uh, okay. Yeah, definitely didn't understand it. Though combining them like that actually was a really smart play. Even if unintentional. It was a good play. While it lasted. You can't kiss her ass. At some point, she's going to beat you up. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Was that a positive that action? It? That was a negative action. Negative? All right. It's back to guilty. Back to me. Are you feeling guilty enough yet? I'm feeling like I'm going to shed in. some blood. The All crowd right. is ready. I don't get to draw more cards until rest time? Until, 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 until rest, rest time, time, yes. Until everybody passes. Okay. Now, to be clear, when you pass, you could get to go again if someone else takes an action. That's correct. It doesn't lock you out. Okay. Can I play Savage Bite on one of my own characters? Is that what I this means by characters you control? Actually. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Character you control only. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to pay two resources to... Uh, Well, let me ask, what does raging do? Aha, uh -huh. so if you have wounds on your character equal to greater than their rage value, they're raged. And rage, rage does three things. The first is a raged character can't retreat. So you can't retreat them, they won't do it, basically. They're too pissed off. The second is uh, if they are attacked and they're unset, they'll actually deal a rage damage back. And it's always one, but it can be modified by other cards. So they're just so angry, they're flailing around, you're gonna take damage just for attacking them. Okay. The worst or best, depending on your perspective, thing that rage does is if someone is raging and they're set and you attack them, they won't deal a damage to you because it's quote unquote safer because they're set, but they're so pissed off that they'll actually unset in response. So if somebody's like enraged and you're sitting there hitting them, they're gonna respond and they're gonna unset. So it's really can it can be difficult to finish somebody off who has a low the opportunities for them to set and attack and then unset and attack again, it can be very difficult. So you really have to coordinate to finish someone off before they get too many actions to do things. Did that make sense? Yeah. Mostly, I'm not gonna play that card. We'll, we'll pick up the rage stuff more as it comes into play. Um, instead, I'm gonna attack. Oh, seems like the TLDR, rage makes your character more badass, but less defensive. Yes, yeah. correct. Which makes sense. Okay. Um, I'm gonna move Lord Magnus up <gasps> to the action field, and but then, wait. but wait, no. <laughs> oh, okay, waiting, anyone want to, no. all right. No Bueller here. And then I'm going to attack with him. Does anyone have a construct? Mm. This one is a construct. Penumbra? Yep. She is a construct, yes. Okay, I'm going to attack Penumbra with Lord Magnus. And Lord Magnus also deals minus one attack damage to constructs and minions. Cool, so it takes uh, okay, so it deals if less you damage. Send, Wait, what? If you send him after <laughs> Penumbra, she won't take any damage. So you it, don't it want doesn't to do that. Appreciate it. Double to minus two? Nope. It's okay, no, he minus, minus no, is, it, he deals minus. No retconning. Deals uh, less damage. I'm going to attack Vengeance. Uh, no, you were then. trying to pick on me. No retconning. That's fine. Uh, okay, so Vengeance. Um, what do I want to do with that? How much damage are you doing? One? One. Um, I'll, I'll take it. Uh, hmm. You do have a lot of cheer already. What can I say? I'm a crowd favorite. Mm. The crowd loves me. I'm 
Uh, now I'll protect it with the Conqueror. I'll intercept, okay. as it were. Right. Um, so the Conqueror sets and takes a damage, and then I get the cheer instead of Guilty getting it. That's, That's correct. correct. Yes. And that makes us tied for cheerleader. You go to the three. Uh, like yeah. Until now, when I put <gasps> down. Oh no. My minion cheerleader. Jeez, this is stupid. Okay, uh, I'm gonna drop myself to two cheer and gain back two resources. Okay. And that um, goes to your support field. Right. Does it? Does it have to? Do minions have to go into the support field? Yes, yes they, they do. do. Okay. They go into the support field, yeah. All right, Angie goes into the support field. She's so got... gladiators make one cheer, health. and cheerleaders can spend cheer to do things. All right. Okay, oh, wait, so... So I spent a cheer on playing her? Uh... And then I... No, she should be free. Gladiators, uh, cheerleaders are free. Oh yeah. I, this okay. So am I tapping her to do that? Her ability in a future round, I oh. think. Oh, can I not do that immediately? Is she an, is she a negative action? Yes. Yeah, so it would be a, a future round. So you'd play her now, and then in a future round, you could then spend a cheer to activate the ability. Yes. And does it, it set her? It does not seem like it does. Yeah, no. So you can do it more than once. So you can just spend cheer to generate resources. Yeah. All right. It does count as a pass. In okay. If I have eight cheer or less. Right. Also, Mr. Draco said, when I first saw the name, I thought this was an arena game with miniatures. Wasn't ah. expecting a card game. Well, Sam no thought we were going to actually be fighting each other with the cards. Yeah. So. Sam was going to fold the cards. Oh, there's into still weapons. time. Yeah. This is That's true. how we're going to end the stream. Sam's just going to turn. Yeah. He's slowly turning cards into shurikens while we're not looking. Um, okay, so Wait, that... hold on. Wait. You just played a negative card. I thought it was only negative if I used it. it the no, playing of it is negative. Is negative card. Getting it into play is the negative yeah. action. You, got, you put a lowly minion into the game, into the arena. Have you seen her titties? Lowly minion. No, he hasn't. Fine, okay. <laughs> um, as a positive action, I'm going to... Advance my bloaters into the action field. Ta ta ta. Boo. And then. No one wants to see your bloaters. Well, too bad. The bloaters are going to. Don't you dare attack Angie. She is a saint. Um, I think the bloaters are actually going to attack, attack uh, Penumbra, yeah. Wow, pick on Penumbra. Because Penumbra can't be inter can't intercept because there's nothing else to intercept. Cool. So, bloaters are going for Penumbra. All right. So what what happens here? You take one damage unless uh, you have something to say about that. <laughs> Do I have stuff to say? That's a good question. Can I actually play stuff? Like, how does this? If you work? have a response card that I applies, I believe oh, would be the only thing. Cool. Um. That also was a positive action. Uh, did you oh, take you take, cheer for that? Take cheer. Thank you. Did you oh, no. take damage I did that? not did take cheer because it was a minion. Ah, uh, it's a minion. Did you take damage on Penumbra? Okay. Yes, he did. Um, okay. Now, I think I will do nothing and simply pass for now. You're never going to make it in the big leagues like that. Yeah, well, I'm just biding my time. Mm. The crowd likes to get excited early over the showboaters, but mm. they're still waiting for the show to show up. Oh, yeah, That's Mr. Right. Show. <laughs> Besides, um, do you really think Sam can do anything with this momentum? I'm going to play... <laughs> Famous last words. I know, right? He just destroys my whole board. Probably. GG. What? What is the regenerate step? Uh, regenerate on, on your, your playmat. Play 
you'll see the steps of the breather, and that's one of the steps of the breather, so it's going to happen in between the waves. Okay. Cool. Got it. So if you pass, you'll find out sooner. <laughs> how much, uh, how many resources do we regenerate during the breather? So it's use it or lose it. You're going you're gonna to be resetting it, not adding it. Oh, so it so just gets reset to, to a number? 11? Yeah, oh, to so 12 it's, it's next gonna time. It's going to be 12 because it's going to be 10 plus the number of the next wave, which would be wave 2, so you'll get to get okay. a 12. All right. Ah. So we have nine waves? No, there's uh, there's four. At the end of the fourth wave, that's... So I should have been a lot time. more aggressive with spending my resources. Got it. Absolutely. Spend Oops. what you got. So I'm going to move right. the avatar to the Mistakes were made. -ness. <gasps> Attackiness of avatar. It can't be intercepted. Is that the last This is your chance. Uh, well, I'm, you guys not going to do anything? Uh, to stop you from moving it up? I'm not. I'm going to spend one tier so you can't attack with it. Oh, negative action. Momentum so he'll stole. He'll still be able to attack when the momentum passes back to him, though. Yes, but not right but now. Not you do an opportunity to do something first. Guilty I'm afraid waiting. of you, so yeah, I did that. That's a thing I did. She's ready. Cool. Is it my turn now? Yes, it oh, is. Oh, crap, I wasn't ready. <laughs> you just stole the momentum. I know. <laughs> okay. Um, can Angie attack? She has an attack value of zero, so I wouldn't. <laughs> if you pump her with something, maybe. Yeah, you could. Okay. X equals one. I'm attacking human or alien characters. Yeah, I'd punch <laughs> characters still. I definitely one wasted a lot damage. of resources this turn. It's all good. Can I pump Angie well, what with, with the Reskeleton glass? They're use them or lose them, and then they reset at the, yeah. uh, the break. So you just get your resources back at the breather. So. Jordan, do you want to read this card? Yes. If you do not control a human or alien, it's a positive action. Yeah. And then uh, X equals one while attacking human or alien characters. I don't know where the oh, X is. Oh, X so. is the attack. Oh. So, so it'll, add, it'll add plus plus one if you're attacking a human or an alien. Are and your then pumped character okay. deals plus one R. Rage damage. Can a minion who doesn't have rage do rage damage? No. No. Because they can't become enraged? Correct. Okay, so if I pump Angie with this, it just means that she'll have plus one attack towards humans and aliens? That's correct. There are a lot of humans around. There I don't are. know if Sam has an alien or not. I believe in you, Ange. You're going to do it. She's doing it. She's doing it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to yeah, I'm going to spend 2 to put the Rascalian claws on Angie the warrior cheerleader. And do you control a human or alien? I do, so that's negative. Okay. Yeah. You got it. So that passes my turn. For now. For now. Um okay, well since I didn't do this before, I'm going to start spending my resources inefficiently. Uh, for three, money, money. I'm going to put soul tendrils, soul tendrils. on do, do, Sam, do. Help me with the soul tendrils. Ooh. Oh, wait, wait, do Ooh. it on the Ooh, soul tendrils. <laughs> yes, here's what they look like. They're very soul tendrily. That's exactly what yep. I did. Yeah. Uh, we're going to put them on soul cleaver. Soul Cleaver should get some Soul Tendrils. And what this does is, first of all, when it's played on a Mystic Sounds character, like um, it becomes a positive action, which it is, um, okay. because that is a Mystic character. Okay. Additionally, as a response, after the pumped character deals attack damage, you can set the Soul Tendrils, I presume, yeah, themselves, set the soul tendrils. Uh, to destroy a target pump on the Defender. So this is where I screwed up because I definitely could have used this to. Well, I didn't actually want to remove those pumps, but interesting. Okay. I could have used some of these cards more efficiently. So that was a positive action. 
I get so to keep if going. So Angie attacks your soul claw, then you could re remove her claws? Uh, no. No, it's only if uh, the character with the soul tendrils is the attacker. Yeah, okay. I have to deal right. attack damage. Stay away from sweet Ange. Hello. Hello. We are alive, sir. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> it's our good friend, Eric. Hi. So you're playing a PDX with me? Yes. Hi, yes, Eric. we are. Hello. How are you? With Jason, the designer. Oh, that's awesome. Hey. All right. Um, well, let's sh sorry for interrupting your stream. <laughs> that's fine. Have a fun night. Uh, Thanks. Have fun, Jason. We're going to see you all soon. Um, bum, bum, bum. I... Cerebic, it is not. Cut that out. What? This is... <laughs> wow. Um... I'm going to go to a Yeah, I, don't, I think I'm going to pass. I knew it. Okay. Um... What is the life total on uh, Angie? Uh, one. One. <laughs> wow. Uh, Stay away from Angie. Good thing Carnage is I'm around. Gonna, I'm going to hit Angie. No. Why would you Unless. Do that? Wait, what? Is Carnage still on yeah, set? Yeah, Carnage is still on set and could uh, protect. protect. But Carnage, what, what are that. you hitting her with? Penumbra. One damage. All right, I'll steal your cheer. Wait, well, it's uh, oh, protect doesn't, doesn't steal can't. cheer, but you also don't have to set. You just take the damage. Yes, you just take it. All right, Carnage is into it. So basically, Sam just protect. He just attacked Carnage, but he wanted to make you choose. <laughs> oh wait, wait, how much damage is on Carnage? Four. Three, but I oh. just switched it to four because yeah. of the attack. And how much power is on him? Uh, he has ten. Uh, health. Total. Wait, so do I got the cheer for that? Yes. Yeah. And enraged at six. six. He gets enraged. Dun dun dun. Or they. It's an alien, so I'm gonna go with they. I like that. Cool. Um, so I'm gonna play Colium's Desire, which is a pump on uh, on Avatar of Kisterbach. Ooh. So, pump character can only be targeted by, cannot be targeted by one attack things. So I assume that it needs at least two attacks to target it. Yes. If they only have one attack at that point, they can't attack. Oh. Right. So you, and your character loses a health. But gets an attack. But gains an attack. So awesome. now I'm going to attack the... The, <laughs> the, the thing wow. in the I'm going to attack what? the thing in the Carnage? Carnage. How could you do that? For two. Carnage For two. never did nothing to nobody. Are you kidding me? You <laughs> hit me. You only hit me. You have you haven't even picked on Jordan at all. I have. I hit Vengeance. Doesn't count. And then um, I blocked. Yeah, you both attacked me. All right, so that's that's one, one cheer. But you take two damage and become enraged, so we get to find out more about that. Well, well, well you think that. Uh-oh. But then I'm going to play... Wait, can, well, she takes the damage, on, right? Hold on, hold on. Okay. Can Angie blo move up to the no. action field? Yeah. No. But, and Hail on. Mary block Carnage. But, hang on. Guilty, take a look at your coalition thing. The card that's the coalition card in your hand. <laughs> it's a red one, I think. Ah, that is a reaction. After your character receives any damage, advance or retreat a character you control. If you control a mystic or a, a psionic or a summoner gladiator, you may advance or retreat an additional character you control. Ooh. Okay. Now, so, I will say this. Interesting. If a card uh, retreats someone, it doesn't cost them to set. It's only if they take the action themselves. Okay. So just, to, just for that, it, it's probably not relevant right now, but just so you know. If you use a card to do the retreating, it's not like they did it themselves. So you can actually use a card to retreat a enraged character because the card's doing it, they're not doing it. Hmm. But that would let you put somebody up who could potentially block a future attack or something. I, I don't know if it's gonna be that useful right now, but yeah. or you could when just you would be enraged. Just be enraged. Do we get a chance to move people around between fields during the breather? In the breather, you will. Oh, 
Okay. And um, since he's enraged, you can put one of those little rage counters. In. There you go. Uh, how does the rage damage work? Rage counters are sweet, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how, why you thought that would show up. There we are. Completely yeah. invisible. <laughs> that's how Although cool that's they pretty are. sweet. Woo, hello. Hey. Oh, you Ooh. ruined it. Look, look, it's your. Oh, I was gonna try to hold it over your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's exactly. what I was doing. I was. Hey. Hey. I am right. peeking through with rage. Cool. It's true. Okay, so. Uh, mm, so, I. Sorry, how does rage damage work again? If uh, an enraged character is the target of an attack and they're unset, they'll deal one rage damage back to the attacker. And if, if they're set, are they'll, set then instead they'll unset. unset. Ooh. That's very cool. Okay. I don't like that. So, <laughs> Sam. Are you gonna are you gonna react? Uh I don't see the point of it because we're almost at the end of this round. It's true. And I'm gonna be able to move them around for free during the break, right? Yes. So no. Sam is about to do something else. Advance or retreat a character. Uh, With his momentum. Maybe I'll do it, though, because that's a little scary. All right. I'll pay two in order to advance or retreat a character. Two characters, technically. I'm going to so, retreat. So why would Wait, it be important to retreat? The, uh, it could be important, depending on what you do next, if there was an opportunity for Angie to intercept yeah. a future right. attack gotcha. if you like had a way to unset one of gotcha. your characters. I'm going to move Angie up to the action field and do they have to, do my two have to go the same direction cuz I do have oh. Okay, and then I'm going to move Lord Magnus back. Nice. Okay. Great. I'm going to spend the next 3 <gasps> He's got his resources. Holy crap. Strength of Fury on uh, what your, the heck is that? your dude, your rage dude. Uh, Carnage is Carnage. gladiator uh, only. Binary alien. Thank you very much. During the regenerate step, pumped character takes two damage. Carnage is not pumped. Uh, it will be when well, I put a pump on it. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's your pump. It also is minus four rage. Let me read this. Uh, during the regeneration Which doesn't step, matter because it's already rage. Yeah. Damage. But you do extra damage. So basically that carnage dies in two breathers if nothing else happens. Is what, what you say. Okay. All right. Unless I get this off of yeah. them. I can help you with that. Um, <laughs> but why? What does the minus four yes, to the rage mean? No, no, does it, just, mean it would just no mean to rage raged? faster. No, no, other oh. way. Oh. So like, if he'd done it on something that wasn't enraged yet, it could have caused it to enrage, which would have been bad if he put it on someone else's. But I can see how you could use that on one of your own gladiators to make it rage faster, rage faster at the cost of damage. That's cool. Okay. All right. Fine. He, hey, Fine. Carnage hits harder now. It's gonna sure. have some real Carnage now. <sighs> Anything else, Sam? Nope. <sighs> to Guilty, who has two unset characters. It's true. The only unset characters on carnage the board. Carnage is gonna get some blood. Oh, God. Okay. Um, how many health does Penumbra have? Eight. And three uh, damage. And three damage. But it's not a human. And rages at four. I'm gonna attack Penumbra for three with Carnage. Oh, snap. Yeah, that seems fair. <laughs> Penumbra's at six. And is enraged? And enraged now. Yeah. Yeah. So any subsequent attacks would unset her if they don't kill her outright. Cool. Um, and then Angie is also going to attack Penumbra. Because reasons. Uh, for zero? No. Wait, sure. She's Penumbra. got the claws. Okay. But Penumbra Wait, is not is the right type, sure. I don't think. So uh, I will deal a two I will deal two damage on set. <laughs> is Penumbra a human? I, I no. said I said it wasn't. No, uh do you have any humans or aliens? I, do. I thought Penumbra was a human. No. Nope. It's I a literally construct. said it wasn't when uh, like I was yeah. telling you no, it wasn't. Fine. I didn't pay attention. Can really. I can I deal two damage to her now? Can you not? 
<laughs> you, you, you deal two damage. Why would you deal two damage? Where, wait, what, what happens when a rage would, character gets attacked? It, it would just if unset. Set, they unset. Oh, if they're yeah. set, they're, oh, can I just unset? <laughs> Thanks. I, can fine. I attack Jordan instead? You can. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, let's do that. Jordan's got human. I own. have two. Did, did you two get uh, a cheer for Carnage's attack? Ooh, I did not. I'll take that. Thank there you. you. Go. I have two targets that are human. The Conqueror and Soul Cleaver. Okay, um, I will attack the Conqueror with Angie the Mighty. All right, I take one, and that's it. Right. Uh, do you have anything else you would like to do? I do not. I will pass. I am at one resource. I will also pass at five resources, sadly. Cool. Ooh, I also and pass. I think that's it. Let's wave. All right. Tell us how this breather works. Okay, we so made it. We're done with the first turn. Look maybe. Look at the play mat and look at the steps of the breather. And what's the first step? Determine momentum. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna count up the number of wounds, total wounds on all of your gladiators. Tres. Six. Ten. Okay, so since you have the most wounds on your gladiators, you are gonna start. The next wave with the momentum, and actually, technically, you gain the momentum as of right now. All right. What? And if you had any gladiators that were defeated, their total wounds would still count towards that total okay. because that, you've still taken that many wounds, even if they were out of the game. Nice. All right. Okay. So, ne what's the next step? Regenerate. All right. So, there's three things you regenerate. You're going to regenerate your resources, so you're going to set them to twelve. Okay, because it's wave two. You're going to regenerate all the cards are in play, so everything on sets. And you're going to regenerate your hand. So you're going to discard any cards you don't want. Hold they on. They go to your discard pile. And Carnage then you're going to refill two your more max damage. hand size, which all of you <laughs> should have a max hand size of seven now, I believe. Okay. Because the modifiers were only for that first uh, setup. Wait, so we draw back up to seven plus two? You got it, plus two. And then you're going to put any two you don't want on the bottom. All right. And I discarded a bunch because I had a lot of cards that were not useful. And then I discard two to the bottom of the deck. Okay. Uh, What, what will I not be able to pay for at all? Step one. Are fans a type of minion? Yes. Okay. I'm not sure if anybody has one in these decks. I think there might be one. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the heckler shield? <laughs> I like they it. don't know what it does. It's a good meat shield. I'm a fan. What? Okay. By the way, that, that uh, heckler shield doesn't mm -hmm. require a fan. It just does more if they have. Oh, cool. Okay. All right. So it'll work. It'll work regardless. So we have to get rid of two? Yeah, any two you don't want, put them on the bottom of your deck. Now, okay. remember, and I'm saying remember even though I haven't told you this, so you mm -hmm. couldn't remember this, but you're going to be leveling up some of your gladiators, so you will be able to play higher level cards. Oh. That's an you're excellent get to, point. During the promotion step, you'll get to choose any two gladiators and level them up to level two. 
Okay. Can we do that before we discard cards? So that we if see you want to peek, I mean, go ahead and peek at who you might want to level up. Just, just to, to see, see what, what they get, get because some, some of their, their disciplines evolve at different, different rates. rates. Yeah, that's good to know. Man, can I level up Angie? Oh. <laughs> and anyone that you level up will automatically heal one wound. <gasps> Ooh. All right. Which, Which might, might make someone who's raging not rage. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, that definitely changes what I want to do, so that's good to know. Okay. All right. Um. Oh, I just realized this. What's that? This character actually has three damage, not two. So one of your you characters should have an action damage. Which one? Uh, I think you blocked with the uh, not Magnus first. Kos? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. Which character is that? Is that our syllable? Yeah. At level one, he deals two, two damage, right? Oh, oh, that's an ability that you didn't oh, use. No, 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 no. Did you flip him too early? I must have flipped. You must have flipped for some reason. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Never mind. Never mind. We're good. We're good. Okay. Phew. Um, we're gonna get rid of these. I think. All right, I'm done. What's the next step? Maintain. Okay. So in the upper left corner of the cards you place in your hand, there's a cost. In the lower left corner of those cards, there's a maintain cost. So you're going to have to pay to keep any of the cards you've played in play. Excuse me? So like your minions may ha have oh. a cost. Oh, ha ha, Angie's free. Yeah. Suck it. Angie's free. However... The uh, festering stink, even though it's not oh, in front of you. Oh, the claws are a one. Well, and the one you put on mine. Pay for it if you want to keep it. The festering the stink? stink. Oh, so you have to pay one for that. Um, what's it do again? And if you don't pay it, it just goes away. Sam, what's the stink do? Um, attacks by uh, and against pump character can't not be intercepted. Yeah, I'll play one for the stink and one for Angie's claws because she really likes them. Awesome. Uh, How am I supposed to take that? With and Sam, I think you have to pay for the nameless warrior, right? Uh, how much is the nameless warrior? Two. Oh, two, two for the hero. Oh, I thought you meant the the card I played on Guilty's. Oh, oh, yeah. You also have to pay. Wait, that's a big X. That means you cannot maintain it, it has to go away. Oh! Okay, but it already did its thing. Yes. Well, I, I took. Well, when did it deal the damage? During regenerate. During regenerate. Okay. I'm going to yeah, let my so, bloaters so, die. Did you take the damage? I did. Great, so now, now it's Now Carnage is at 8 damage. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Have we all made okay, our maintain payments? Rip bloaters. Yes. Yeah, I, ri I ripped the bloaters. Okay. All right. What's next? Next is uh, promote. promote, right? Promote, yes. Oui. So choose any two gladiators on your team and you can promote them. Oh, it's two? Level them up one level. Oh, well. I'm going to promote Cost Spargith and Grandstander. I'm going to promote Soul Cleaver and the Conqueror so that the Conqueror does heal them for one damage. Heals one. So I don't know if you want yeah, to cost promote also here. Carnage. Yeah, but Carnage ain't good. long for this world. <laughs> She's given up on him. Carnage, yeah, is it's having you know, a rough life. Gonna do their best and At level uh, three he starts he has built in defensive damage. I don't know if we're gonna get 
a level three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If so, not for time than anything else. During the promotion step, this is also when you can bring in reinforcements. If you've lost any gladiators, you can bring in reinforcements to bring your numbers back up. Oh. Um, you each have one, but you can actually bring up to three to the game. Dang, okay. So, if you had lost anybody, you could bring out a reinforcement, and they have some nice extra benefits. They let okay. you draw some extra cards or get extra resources. They're yeah. very helpful. Yeah, cool. Okay. Oh, yeah, that is cool. All right. The last step is maneuver, right? Yes. Yep. Okay, so this is where you get to set your formation for the next wave, and that's going to be starting with guilty and going clockwise. So you get to set your field, and this is you're putting people in the, in, in the different fields, this is setting a formation, it's not retreating, so if you have someone who's raging, you can still put them in the back in this step, if you want, uh, because you're setting a formation, and they're, they're all walking around that person, basically. Interesting. Um, if I want to, during a turn, bring someone from support to action, it's a positive action, but someone can roar, spending a cheer to make it negative. So that's the risk. Okay. Uh, I think I'm good. Okay. Yep. yep. I'm going to move Vengeance back to my support field. For the lulls. We're doing it for the lulls, What's chat. an unset gladiator? Oh, just anyone who's not. Okay, all right. <laughs> she was going to say any gladiator who's not set. Shut up. Get ready. Get set. I'm good. And do nothing because you're set. Okay, you're all set. So you... now the second wave begins. We're all, We're all unset. unset. <laughs> <laughs> Saw that one coming. <laughs> I, 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 I believe you have momentum. How do I time you out? All right. <laughs> Sam said cool. it too. It's terrible for night. Uh, <laughs> uh, crap. My poor baby carnage. You don't want to stash him in the back? What good is that gonna do? Then Carnage so can can't attack. Him. I can what? You can protect him, which doesn't mean they for have to what purpose? The other I mean, Carnage is not gonna be able to attack. Yeah, but he back. can move up later when he's when everyone else is already set. I'm not looking towards later. I'm looking towards now. Right. Okay, Carnage is gonna attack. Glory, yeah, Carnage is gonna attack the Conqueror. Okay. Um. For how much? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. First, Carnage is going to be savagely bitten. What? Uh -oh. With Savage Bite, which I'm going to pay two for, and is a pump. Can you it put means... that on the zoom in screen? Yes, sir. Pumped character is now raging, already was raging. And when the wave ends, they are destroyed. So you're basically oh, giving them a plus definitely one. Definitely not long for this world then. Yep. Yeah. So how much damage is that? Three. Hmm. Okay. Um, you know what? That puts me just shy of raging. I'll take it. Cut. I'll take my cheer. And then, oh, in response... In response? Uh -oh. you, you gotta set your thing, yeah. yeah. For one resource, I will play Mystical Resilience. What the oh, hell? After okay. target character receives attack damage, all further attack is reduced to one, Whoa. or how, zero in this case, because it is a mystic. How can, you res how can you respond with a pump? It's not a response card. It says it's, it it says it's a response card in the, the top. Corner. Right. It is a response card. Oh, it is a response card. Yeah, it's oh. a response bump. Um, until I gain momentum, then I destroy the card. So basically, if Guilty tries to do damage to the Conqueror again, uh, then 
that is reduced to zero because the Conqueror is a mystic. What if Sam tries to do damage to uh, that this? Point, it will be gone. Yeah, this gets destroyed as soon as I gain momentum. So ideally, I could have played it on Sam's turn, but you have a lot of stuff going on over there. I do. So this seems no, like a good time. Did you get time. a cheer for that attack? I did take my cheer. Excellent. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, all right. Fine. Uh, uh, quick question. Can yeah. you use actions on characters that are set if the action doesn't require setting? Such as? Uh, such as the Conqueror says, pay one resource retreat. If he was yeah, already fine. set, I could do that? Yes. As In fact, um, retreating is the one action that a set character can still take. Okay. And Even can, if they're set, they can still retreat. Can I activate that action at any time or only when I have momentum? Only when you have momentum because it's a, it's not a responsibility. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, At least it's not a negative action. It's a positive action. When the conqueror retreats, people respect it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what is a quick hit? There, I think there are little, literally are cards that say quick hit. Yeah, I think it's like an instant, away. basically. Yes. You just discard that word it. That you said. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but I can or cannot do that on my turn. If it's, it depends on if it's positive or negative or a response. It's response. So does that mean it has to be on someone else's well, turn? It, it has conditions. On what the text I, I can't tell from the text what it's responding to. Yeah, let's see the uh, It responds to an attack. So you could do it as you're attacking, or you could do it while someone else is attacking, depending so on which either. thing you want. What card is it? What's the name? Alpha Strike. Yeah, so that card, you can play it on the attacker to deal extra damage, but they take damage. So if you're attacking, you can do more damage with it, or you can do it on someone else when they're attacking, and they'll take that to, so to you, direct damage. You could have played it to sac basically sacrifice Carnage right now, but do an yeah. extra damage. Carnage is a good alien and yeah. is too good for that. Okay, I am going to pay four. <gasps> To play Grizzled Veteran what? into my support field. Grizzled Veteran uh, may protect my Warrior Gladiators, which is ha, all of them. So that's pretty cool. I don't know how. We'll figure that out. So it's not that one's the he has to be in the action field. Oh, does and he? And then it's the, if they're attacked, but they're in the support field. That's the front to back blocking, not the interceptor. So he's not useful unless I move him up to the action field? Correct. With the ability. Well, I mean, he's still useful as a character who can attack, but his protecting thing only works if they attack someone in the back and he can block for them from the front. Right, which is still good because minions normally can't protect at all. Correct. Okay, so then can I just move him forward? Is yeah. he positive to play? Yes. Then yes, you can. Right. Well, bam. Grizzled veteran moves up. Does anyone want to? I mean, it, it's a minion. You can't. There's no. No, we could pay. For oh, it. we could, All but right. we Does don't. Does anyone want to pay cheer to stop what, what that? What is the What are the stats on the thing? Uh, three health and one attack. Okay. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. All right. Okay. Still got and momentum. And I do. I do indeed. Um. I am going to attack with Grandstander, who's now a level Boy. two. And who am I going to get? Who am I going to get? Who am I going to get? Grandstander is going to attack. Sam, who you got up front? Our Xipio, the Nameless Hero, the Avatar of Kistabak, and the Gate. Weaver. Bum, bum, bum. How many yeah, health are on the boom. avatar? What? How many health are on that avatar? Eight. I'm going to attack the avatar with Grandstander. Well, bam. 
She's going in. If my total cheer is seven or less, this generates one additional cheer. So it's attacking. a two cheer attack for one damage. And I'm attacking the one who... But he can't. But he can't because I put a pump on it. And I paid to keep it. Yeah. Perfect. So he would have to have a response that somehow does something. There you go. Otherwise, two cheer for guilty. I'm good. Woo! -hoo! So one damage for Sam, two cheer for guilty. All and right. she's still got momentum still unless someone momentum. pays a cheer. Um, that is definitely a high five moment. And uh, I'll play one of these cool cards. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, or maybe. Do I have to tap in or uh, set Angie to use her cool ability? I don't believe you do. Okay. Can you put her on camera? Yeah. No. You just pay a cheer, and it's a negative action. Okay. Um, but if you spend cheer, you're less likely to be able to win by cheer. Yeah. True. How's it going, Lissonis? Hey, hey, Influx Pictures with the raid. Welcome, everyone. If Welcome you are coming in with the raid, we're playing Ophidian Arena, a brand new Gladiator Arena combat card game that is on Kickstarter, exclamation point, KS in chat. We're we're tilted table. We're waiting for uh, Guilty to use her momentum to destroy us. Woohoo! And we're also joined by the designer tonight. Yes. Yay, Jason. Jason's here. He's the floating head to my left. Wait, here we go. I'll, I'll Vanna White him. Yay! All right, oh, I'm gonna pay to nice. to play Exhaustion Flu. Uh oh. On. What does that do? A uh, soul cleaver. Pumped characters, positive abilities, and question mark abilities become negative. Negative. Okay. So I that don't... means it sort of nerfs your soul tendrils, I think? No, because they're a reaction. They are not a positive That's or... a question mark. That's to play it. I, this character doesn't actually have any abilities like that. This one does. So you could do it on this one. Yeah, but that pump is going to go away in a minute. You can't do it on the pump. No, no, the character. The, it's character. the character, not the pump, that gets affected. Does it stay even if the character is no longer pumped? Yeah. The, the, the act of playing that card on a character, you are pumping that character yeah. with oh, that. Jeez, okay. I, mm, yeah, I keep thinking that... It does not describe... Yeah, no, you can do it on exactly. anybody. Yeah. So this has positive uh, actions... And I think most of Sam's needs. are negative except for the avatar, which has a positive action. Yes. But I have two positive actions, so you get more yeah, value for your Yeah, I'm going to play it on the Conqueror then. Okay. The Conqueror is feeling very down about okay. himself. He's got, got the exhaustion. The flu, All right, that, that was a negative action. negative action, so it's finally your turn. Never mind. All hey, right. Is back. Mystical resilience goes away. Then... I am going to attack. I'm going to attack the uh, avatar with Soul Cleaver. Cool. For uh -oh. two damage. Tangles. And it cannot be intercepted. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have a response that you'd like to play? No. What, what okay. is the Soul Tendrils? So the Soul Tendrils, do? after you take the damage, I'll destroy that pump on you. Okay. Which you might see as a positive or negative mixed bag. Hmm. Um, but it, it destroys that pump. Hmm. I mean, you... So the reason why the tendrils set individually is you might be able to unset the character, but you wouldn't be able to unset the uh, soul tendrils until the breather. Which makes sense. Uh, All right, so that goes back to guilty. Sam takes two damage. And I am not using... Soul Cleaver's other ability because I didn't read it carefully enough. <laughs> um, did you gain a cheer? I did now, yes. Um, I am also... Oh, uh, 
Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'm also going to spend seven resources, big money, to put a minion named Fist of Khan into play. Uh, it is so a I have bad news. What? You can't play that yet. Why not? It has a requirement of a mystic at level three or lower. Oh, I thought it was just adding up the total you no, had amongst all of them. Oh. No. Oh, well, oh, really? I did not realize that at all. Okay. I, might have I too like that did one. not realize um, that. Okay. I definitely tossed the wrong cards then. Um, okay, can't use that card. Okay. So there, I have a lot of cards that I can't play. Um, all right, we're going to... Um, we're going to pay two for an energy whip, and we're going to put that energy whip on um, Vengeance, which is going to give Vengeance a plus one. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and move Vengeance up, assuming unless someone's playing a cheer. No, we good. No? Okay. Um, but, but you could... Right. Now, I know I can use the ping, um, but I can do three damage with that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and um, fight me. We're going to yeah, we're gonna go ahead and attack. Um, Why would you do this? We're gonna attack <laughs> Penumbra. No, no, I don't want to attack Penumbra. We're going to attack, um... Lord Koss? Yeah, actually. We're going to attack Koss Kargith, and then we're going to spend four what? for a Dragon Strike. What? Which is going to give my target uh, warrior character, or gladiator, plus one attack. And if the attack is protected, the protecting gladiator retreats. All right, so how much are you attacking? I am attacking for four currently. Take it. She's taking four damage. Taking four damage. Grab your cheer. Yes, thank you. And finally... We are going to... Oh, perfect. Oh, can you give me a rage token? Because I'm raging. Yeah, now. you are raging. You're raging hard mm -hmm. over that attack. Uh, uh, does that mean I deal a rage damage back or only on subsequent attacks? I, only on subsequent attacks. If, you, if the attack made you rage, it's not until the next one. Makes sense. Okay. All right, I'm going to spend four more to use a negative action, which is a pump called Call Tasha's Molten Hammer. And Oh, wait, nope. Can't afford it. I, I mean I can afford it, but I trolled Don't myself with the I trolled myself with the level three thing again. You kept a lot of threes, yeah. I kept a lot of threes because I was like, oh, I, I even specifically leveled my gladiators to make sure that I had three of the thing I needed. Yeah. Uh, so I definitely messed that up. Smart. Um, Good job. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do two for an Inferno Spirit minion, uh, which just looks cool and. As a reaction, it can give a gladiator an attack, uh, or as a reaction with a resource, it can add plus one to itself, which is repeatable twice. I assume that means I can use it two times total. You can use it two times in the same attack, yes. Right, okay. Yeah. All right, and so that normally was a negative you can attack. You use any ability once per action, so that's repeatable within the same action. All right, okay. Sam, use your upgraded things, and then I think we'll wrap up here. I don't think I can do much. You want to just swing with everything? Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, you made me rage. I rage hard. Um, That's a good point. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I guess I will... They do kind of fit the faces. I will, I guess Stay I'll pay... Stay in attack formation. I'll pay for soul tendrils on the, on the thing. Ooh, nice. Ooh, you can destroy tenders. my soul tendrils. Uh, more soul tenders. <laughs> well, what is the... If the minion were to be unstuck, uh, could it repeat it twice more? Ooh, good means question. that my actions are negatives. 
think you're getting an F. Um, so, yes. That's All, dangerous. Also, in this case, uh, using that ability does not cause my minion to set. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know why I equipped the soul tendrils. <laughs> Good funsies. Uh, I mean, I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack Angie for three. Why would you do that? <laughs> I want, I want cheer. I want cheer. He wants cheer. Want nice, cheer. nice. Score. You're gonna, wait, you're getting cheer for attacking my man. Oh, Cause he's man. attacking with a gladiator. Smart. Angie is too good for this. She quits. She deaded. Cool. What do I get for that? I don't know. I you get a cheer. cheer. She only had one health, health so Seven. do I only get one damage on her? She's gone. She goes to discard. Yeah, but that's important for, for the, the determining momentum. If we were to. Uh, minions don't count for that. Oh. Determining oh, momentum okay. is only gladiator. So it's just dead. Angie counts. Yes. Angie got deaded. Angie's worth it too. Uh, I'm gonna move Gate Weaver up. Swinging with the field. <laughs> uh, then I'm gonna swing at your thingamajigger. Which thing? The, un veteran. the unset one. Ah, the grizzled veteran, which has three health. And how much damage are you doing? One. One. Do you have okay. a response or do you take it? Take it. There you go. Have a mini die. Cool. Now that my adorable mini dies. Now that my name is Hero. Oh my gosh, they look so big. Is. Uh, now that I'm at five, my name was Hero. <gasps> does two damage. Oh, snap. So. Dang. Are you going to kill it? Kill it. Oh, no. You killed you your kill grizzled it? veteran. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What is that? Then I'm going to move the number up. Sam's just wiping the board right here. I told you. Bring it up. You did not get a cheer for that, though. No, I got a cheer for. Oh no, you're right. Okay, uh, I'm gonna attack your showboater. Grandstander. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I have I have my own nickname for him. Respect showboater. I like showboater. showboater. Yeah, he's like a yacht. Uh, so he's fancy, but you know, no substance. <laughs> I'm, I'm dealing two Luxurious there. Luxurious and can take you places you can only dream of. Yeah, that describes grandstander. Okay. <laughs> And then I'm going to attack <laughs> Grandstander again. All right. Would you, so how much how damage much, did you just many? do to Grandstander? Three Sander? total. Three total. Wow. Not even raging. Not even, He's not even mad, Not bro. even bothered. Not even mad, bro. Uh, mm -hmm. And then I guess I'll spend two to... What? We really missed a you mad, bro opportunity when you raged on that first bring, gladiator. Bring Globus into this play? I don't know. Oh no, are you are we playing a memorial song for Angie? <laughs> Pretty much. Not clicking that link. Okay. Is that no, it, Sam? I think that's it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and Maybe stop here place. for time, uh, but we've now Just gone through uh, an entire full round plus a breather, and then we've each gone through a turn with our upgraded gladiators, so you could kind of see how things get more depth as we go. And I'm down to two resources. Yeah. Um, and no, and so are oh, wait, you. and there were no victory points for killing minions. So uh, everyone wait, there's has no victory zero. points for killing minions. No, no, it's only the gladiators. Loser. So actually, yeah, I made a mistake. I should have just killed Carnage for the victory points. I, I, I left him alive because I was like, he's going to die anyway. should have done that too. She put a clock on it, yeah. and I messed up. All right. So I could have claimed victory <laughs> with, with three points, but I did not. All right, so let's go into our post-game review. We're going to go Wait, ahead. hold on. Do I win? Because no. I'm at six cheer. Sam's at, I'm at seven. seven. So. Dang it. I, I love how you established arbitrary Should win condition be. and then still lost. <laughs> um, Do I win? Because I have grandstander. <laughs> All right. I have the most raging characters. I think I win. So we'll talk a little bit about look and feel here uh, with the usual caveat that this is a fairly nice version of the game, but obviously the game has not been officially printed to its production version yet. Uh, so we're not gonna get too deep into that sort of thing. But I just wanna say for me, uh, the art is really beautiful. I love looking at the art on the cards and the play mats also look amazing and feel amazing. Um, so I, I'm not going to give it a score because it's a prototype, but I just wanted to call those two things out because they're they're really nice. 
I will agree I, with that. I will that. say this. Uh, the prototype is pretty much production quality. Cool. So it seems like it. It's very yeah, nice. That's, that's where it's going to be at. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, the so art is rivets? really nice. I, I didn't um, give it a score just because it's a prototype. Okay. I think the box the box itself is probably going to change depending on it, how many stretch goals get met. Cool. Because we'll be adding more cards into every box. Yeah. So. Awesome. Very cool. All right, next category. I think my favorite card so far is Vengeance. Yeah. She Visual looks, accessibility. She looks pretty cool. Um, level 3 and level 4 is even better. Oh, uh, yeah? For, yeah, take a look. for vengeance. Oh my gosh, yes, that's amazing. She really steps up. So for visual accessibility, um, I'm gonna give it a five. I didn't have any issues telling things apart. There wasn't really a lot of reliance on color. Things had unique shapes or positions or symbols. So I give it a five. Yep. Yeah, I'm good with that. Sam and I rate this on a yes no scale <laughs> because we are defectors and I say yes. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Cool. Learning. Um who boy. My brain does not like games like this. I find them very difficult and we did not learn with the player aids. We learned with a tutor, so that's different than a lot of people will probably learn this. But um, I, I'm going to go with like a two here. I didn't think it was impossible, but I did find it very challenging to keep track of all the things. For me, I want, I'm going to say uh, a three, but I'm wavering somewhere between a three and a four. I felt like... Wait, which way are we rating this one again? A uh, high number is... Good learning experience. It's easy to learn. Yeah, easier to learn, okay. better. Yeah. Yep, so, I stick with two. Uh, I, I'm wavering between a three and a four because uh, for me, um, this is a type of game that I do tend to pick up very quickly. So keep that in mind. Um, you know, card games of this type, of the, you know, it kind of has a bit of a CCG feel to it. There's some elements that are familiar for me. Um, so mainly it was just trying to figure out like, how a few of the things worked. Obviously, the big one that tripped me up was understanding the the card costs. Yeah. Uh, I obviously made a huge mistake there in, after the breather uh, in the cards that I kept. And um, other than that, I, I felt like figuring out how most of the other things worked was relatively easy. The, mainly, it was just there were a lot of individual things to learn. And so that made... Uh, we spent a lot of time in the learning period, as you can see from the... Uh, timer there in the bottom right. So for me, that's that's what's keeping it from being a little higher score is just because there's a lot of different mechanics. But I actually felt like for me, uh, the individual mechanics were relatively easy to pick up once we had talked about them. Yeah, I'm I'm a two leaning on a one. Like I I mean I'm I'm a magic player. Um, I definitely am not a afraid of complexity, but I think, I mean, like, just to be completely honest, I think if we were learning this without a coach, uh, we would have spent two hours learning this game, mm -hmm. if not more. Um, which I think is, like, to me, there's a lot of balance that go. It's clear that there's a lot of balance that goes into the game, and so that's why there are a ton of mechanics that help balance it out. But right. um, I think even, like, really small stuff, like, like being able to identify, po like, where positive and negative come into play and... Um, yeah, and like we have both made that cost issue. I think we also like uh, did like I definitely didn't realize that um, that like the spinny wheel thing, if it was canceled, meant like it died the next turn because I obviously wouldn't have pumped your character if I didn't think I was putting a it clock on it. Sticking, right. Yeah. Um, like, so I think there's just there's just a lot. I, I think this is the sort of game where you're going to need to play through it uh, a couple of times to really learn it. And I think the other thing, like, this also seems like the perfect type of game to essentially do, like, an intro round in the rule book. Like, here's some of the basics. Uh, like, grab these yeah. cards, like, figure out how this, these mechanics work. Yeah. Um, it does seem like the sort of game where, like, you 
really should learn how to play it and then teach someone else like yeah yeah the, the one thing that i would say just flipping through the uh the rule book that we have here is um there's definitely a lot of um good things here in the beginning where they talk about like the layout of the card with everything numbered and and descriptions of what that thing is uh which is really helpful because there are a lot of elements on the cards, right? There's a lot of different things that you have to look into. So the, the rule book covers that well. Um, but the other thing that I would I would love to see in the final version is a lot of the rest of the rule book is very text heavy. And so having uh, visual aids to describe what is happening and that basically demonstrate it would help a lot with the learning experience. Because a lot of people, uh, their eyes glaze over when they see wall of text. And so, um, you know, it may be that the amount of text that's here is needed. I can't judge that either way because we haven't read it all the way through. Uh, but having a visual aid to go with each of those sections to be like, all right, this is, you know, this token goes here or, you know, this is what's how you set a card and things like that. Uh, just so that people kind of can translate what they're reading to what's happening on the table, I think would help a lot with the learning experience. Yep. Cool. All right, strategic. No nope. nope. complexity. complexity. <laughs> you go ahead. Uh, I mean, I think for complexity, this is probably a five. Uh, again, with our usual caveat that uh, the one to five scale for complexity and strategic depth is not necessarily a good or bad score. It is a we're trying to be objective of like how complex and how deep do we think the game is. Every gamer has their own opinion on what type of games on that scale work for them. I tend to like games that are medium to high complexity and high strategic depth. That's just the kind of gamer that I am. For me, I think this is a five. Uh, there is a lot that you have to keep track of. There's you know, the gladiators versus minions, and there's the damage, and there's whether things are enraged, and there's um, you know, the position of the gladiators, and there's uh, the cost of the cards, both in resources and in terms of what you have to have in play. So that's a, that's a lot of different pieces that you have to track, especially because you have to track that across every player's board. Um, so again, that's not a good or bad thing, but I do think it is a, a fairly complex game. Uh, I'm in the same boat for almost exactly the same reasons. I like th there's a lot to keep track of. Uh, I think like rage, like a lot of the stats. Are, like I, yeah, I, I think I have a hard time thinking about like how this would even play as a four player game. Like mm -hmm. it seems like there would be so much yeah. to track between all the different characters. Um, right. I, know, at certain points, I was like getting up and walking over to read yeah. your cards, leaning over to read his cards. And I think the other thing is like. Um, there's, there's definitely an element of, uh, like, I guess what I'll call, like, resource management. Not mm -hmm. not explicitly with resources in this game, actually, but, like, with cheer. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like there are, are definitely times where, you know, it is advantageous to do the, like, positive-negative stuff. Mm -hmm. But I think it's very hard to understand what that value is directly. Right. Um, I feel like it, it's one of those things where maybe you, you get later into the game becomes more concrete but earlier in the game it's like all right well should i be taking the momentum away on a right. more regular basis yeah. right it was hard to have a sense of urgency or not like with the fact that like sam's at seven cheer now when we stopped here and i was only at five and i don't know if i should care about that or maybe i should start just taking momentum away from people and go down on cheer um that that is definitely something that is an extra layer of complexity against the resources, so yeah. yeah. I concur. And I also think this is a five in strategic depth. Um, there, especially because uh, something I really liked was that we got to draw back up to a healthy hand size yes. between all of the rounds. Um, and then we got to choose cards to bury. Um, I really like that. And I like that it is pretty clear from the cards which are going to be more and less useful. So maybe I'm like a four and a half. But the, the, the different directions that you can go with that are um, pretty diverse. So with the cards that I have in my hand, I feel like there's ones that make sense for me to play them on. It's not like, oh, I could play this on anybody. 
But if I had gone differently, you know, chosen different things earlier in the game, and I'm sure as we get deeper and deeper, it'll just become more, you know, branchy in the decision tree. Um, I feel like there's there's a lot of different games that could be played with the same cards. Yeah, so the interesting thing is I actually am going to go down, I'm going to go to like three on this. Okay. Um, I think there's a lot of options for things to do. I think that's definitely true. I think the big difference for me is like even looking at a hand, there's a very limited amount of things you can even do with this hand, right? Like, so I had, I had this uh, warp, warp light mechanic mm -hmm. um which was basically like it's a little bit of an affinity mechanic as you have like different ones of these in play like just looking at it knowing that there's only like four waves like i don't even actually know if you could actually put an engine like this into play especially mm -hmm. given it's like heavy negative it almost feels like i'd have to like wait to the end of the round try to get all of the negatives across while you guys were passing uh, yeah, it's kind of no. hard because it's super cool. Think. So it's when cool. it deals attack like, damage, defender's controller may discard a card at random to make this attack a negative attack. Well, so like this one is like a more like specific one where it's like, oh, it has two attack and health equal to the number of things. Um, oh, so it starts with like one health until you get more of them yeah. and then it gets beefier. Yeah, but to me, like you guys were getting a lot of different opportunities to do like uh, you guys had more like what I felt like was more plus uh, events or more responses. I, like, I don't think I drew one, and obviously that's a little bit of RNG. Um, but the the negative, like, in turn passing, I think actually, like, heavily limits the options. I did not even see a good, like, so I had two healing cards. Oh, I didn't uh, see any healing cards. And I had one that I couldn't play. I had, no, 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 like, I had, uh, they were pumps that let you, like, uh, set oh, wow. to heal, mm. but like setting to heal is like a really expensive cost, right? Um, which which I get, but like like the second I take a character and I set it to heal, like I like that like I lose the value of that character. Uh, I can't actually like even if I were to play these three warp lights at the end of the turn, that's four resources down next round if I want to maintain. Like I actually think the decision like. There are a lot of decisions, but the ones you can make at any given time that can affect board state are actually like pretty limited in my mind, um, especially with the positive and negative effect, uh, and especially with the fact that other people could pay for positive and negative effect. So, um, actually, I kind of had a question: like, what what is the most like in play testing? What is the most common win mechanic that gets ex like that actually ends a game? At the end of the fourth wave, whoever has the most victories. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. That's Makes the sense. number one way to end the game. Right. Yeah. Especially if people are using cheer a lot to interrupt momentum. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that that's like kind of how I would expect it I to look. I was hoarding my cheer. You were. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so for strategic depth, I think I'm right in between you two. I'm at a four. Um, I, I don't want to add too much here, but I felt like there were a lot of options like Sam said, th there's a high breadth. There's a variety of things that you can do. In terms of depth, there is like synergy that you can build with some of your cards that you play and how they interact with one another. Um, but at the same time, there's also a limiting factor. Like I had uh, this card called Call of the Elders, which allowed me to play cards out of my discard pile, but only if they were Spirit or Aura cards that I never saw a single Spirit or Aura card uh. until that one card that I couldn't afford, which was the minion that I tried to play that required a level three. So maybe if I'd kept them and kept the minion and waited until I had a level three in the type, like late game, I might have been able to play these. Yeah. Um, but there's definitely like, there is a bit of a limiting factor that keeps the depth from going too deep. But I still think it's like, there is a four because there's a lot of different ways that you can use your strategy in the game and there are the multiple win mechanics um, and that sort of thing. That's fair. Cool. Excitement. Okay. Excitement. I switched early, but go it's for it. It's all good. Do you want to go first, Sam? Um, no. You would have to pay me a lot of money to play this game again. Okay. <laughs> and it's just not, personally, it's just not my type of game. 
Yeah, I mean, and, and I think we could tell that when we were playing. Like, definitely, it was not an intuitively the style of game that you play. But I do appreciate the card art a lot, and I, I might watch someone stream this. Actually, I think it's uh, if someone, if I, if a streamer got good at this and had like a group going where it was a pretty fast, you know, a pretty rapid play, I would be interested in seeing people who are good at this game play this game. But I wouldn't want to do it. Right. I also think that this is a game that uh, would be excellent as a digital game. Yeah, that'd be cool. Reducing the number of moving pieces. That'd be pretty cool. And making it easy to look at everybody's cards. And making cards, some that stuff sort of automated. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I, that that's usually like where I fall into on this is like, yeah, I do have a hard time with games that are I, I feel like are just better digital. Um, yeah, just a lot of moving parts. So I, I think I'm I'm like a. I don't know. I think I'm probably closer to a three, but it would like it would. Someone else would have to be pretty jazzed for me to like want to play it. Like if if Guilty told me she wanted to play this, I'd no. <laughs> that would not happen. Uh, for me, I think I'm. I think I'm a four. Uh, I think that this is, you know, like like Sam said earlier, this is a game where it you kind of need to learn it before you play it. And it, I don't know if that's the best way to describe it, but uh, I definitely got enough, even though we only played like a wave and a half, not even, mm -hmm. um, I got enough that makes me like really want to dive into what this game can do. And this is the style of card game that I'm excited about. And as a Magic player, for example, um, because Sam brought that up earlier, uh, I used to play Magic. I don't anymore because I don't like the concept of having CCGs in the way that that works in a card system in the way it's kind of almost pay to win with there's good decks and then cards get more expensive. And I, I like the fact that this has a feel of like that style of game in a broad genre sense, um, but it is also like self-contained and you can pull a bunch of decks and... Correct me if I'm wrong, Jason, but I think I also uh, read somewhere that like these are not the necessarily set decks. Like you could make your own decks if you really wanted to. Oh yeah, absolutely. You can build whatever you want. Yeah. So these there's, are there's there's deck building guidelines, but generally, yeah, you can you can build you can build your own gladiator team. You can build whatever suits your style. Right. Uh, nice. Each of the different disciplines has a different strength, so there's you you build to what you like. Yeah. So that's something that would really intrigue me. The idea of no, this is not a deck builder, but the idea of getting to build a deck to play this game. Um, so for me, I think I'm a four. I, I would definitely want to play this game again. Cool. Cool. Yeah, I think, I think to that point, I think uh, Sam would probably not want to play a summoner deck because <laughs> they have a lot of minions that are negative, and that's just part of how they play. Um, and they are more of a long game uh, deck. You know, they're a little slower to, to play out, and they take advantage of the later part of the wave when... People are sort of exhausted. Um, it sounds like he would probably want something with more positive actions in it. That just uh, that was also luck of the draw of what deck he was handed. True. True. Um, also, real quick before we move into the end spiel, I also wanted to point out that because of the fact that you can make your own decks and uh, the game itself comes with a ton of cards, that is high replayability. In general I just wanted to point that out because I think that's that is, cool. that is an important thing that it's like you're not just playing with like four set decks that you rotate between the players in your gaming group there's a lot of variety in that all right so let's move into the uh, end of the stream here first of all if you all were here from the beginning or if you just joined us again we are playing Ophidian Arena which is now live on Kickstarter and I believe already funded correct it did Yes, so it's already funded, which is fantastic, which means you know that the game is going to be made. Uh, exclamation point KS will give you the link to check that out. Thank you, Guilty. Uh, definitely go check that out. They have uh, a bunch of different tiers available. Um, if you are into this style of card game, I definitely recommend checking it out. There's a lot of different variety and stuff that you can get out of it. Um, Jason... 
thank you so much for coming on the stream with us tonight and for you, being willing to send us the game so that we can check it out. We really appreciate having you here. I'm sure that the viewers appreciate that as well. So uh, thank you for taking time out of your evening to join us. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah. yeah. And um, as far as what we uh, have coming up next, you'll have to stick around for the post show in just a few seconds. Could so, I ask one question? I believe, oh, Jason, yes. are there any uh, stretch goals that you're really looking forward to in the rest Ooh, of the campaign? Fantastic question. Well, actually, yes, that's a great question. Um, yes, so there are several. Uh, most of the stretch goals early on have been about adding cards, just extra cards that every backer is going to get, but we're working towards uh, unlocking... Uh, there's, a, there's a set of drafting cards to allow you to draft your decks every game, so that would give a lot more replayability. Wow. And then we're, we're working on um, solo and cooperative rules. So you can play mm. this as a solo game, or you can play it as a co-op, taking your gladiators against like big monsters and things. Ooh, so those, those are like things we're really idea. working towards, because that would yeah. really enhance the, uh, re the playability options for the game. Yeah, as I said, you don't know this about me, but I'm huge into co-op. I usually nah, hate co-op, but language. I would really like to play this co-op. I could see that, actually. Yeah, I, think, I think the table talking would be completely uh, interesting. Just, you know, yeah. hey, if you attack and then I attack, and there's a lot There's a lot that can go into that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, next yeah. time, me and Sam versus Jordan and... <laughs> I like it. And the game. I'm in. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm in. Jordan yeah. and Jason. Nope. Just, yeah. I can definitely see, like, you would probably stress a little bit less about the decision-making in a co-op version. I just Jordan. Yeah, yeah. And, and also, as a, a side note, in a four-player game, it can also be played in teams. So the person across from you would actually be your teammate. So that's an option that you could exercise But like by, Euchre, uh, you or know, Sam and Jordan a lot less to team track of overall. That's probably a good idea for this game. Yeah. I want to win, though. Very cool. <sighs> All right. All right. Let's yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be right back with the post show in just a few seconds. So if you are watching us live, stick around and we'll be back very, very shortly. Everyone sold tendrils. <laughs>